Something came in the mail today. Something I've been waiting a year on. You know what it is. Everybody's seen the pictures of it and unpacked it and everything already anyway. But I haven't done it. So I'm going to do mine now. Let me go get it. It's a little box. Be right back. Alright, here I am. Uh, here I am. With my new box of stuff. Is my ass crack showing? No? Too bad. So we got a lot more a lot more views for that. Well, here it is. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me adjust some here. Let me adjust. There it is. This is it. Star Wars Episode 6 has lab Jabba's sail barge, the katana. I'm winning a year on this. Um, I just opened it to make sure uh, it wasn't too bad. As you can see, I got some dead there, dead there cut there. It's a uh, accordion right here a little bit. That's accordion on this side. What I don't know is what side uh, Yak Face is on. I know he's in your car on one of the ends, but I got it open this far and I open this far. I wanted to see if the accordion went through and it did. Because here's this is accordion, that's accordion, and that's accordion, just like the outside. This looks a little a little bad here. But I'm still happy that it just made it in one piece anyway. You know, a lot of people don't even have it. I know there's a lot of people out there that are bitching about their boxes and say they're gonna, you know, this would be grounds of I'm sending this back to Hasbro. No, no, it's not. It's not really. Because, you know, hey, it could be much, much worse. Um, I think I have to take this out of the... No, I'm going to leave the mailer in it. Alright, so this is as far as I've gotten. Wow, the, the art on the box, all these pictures look really good. Uh, and the box... The box of the ship is accordion to here. Accordion to this corner. And it's very accordion in that corner. Huh. I'll show some pictures here. Let's see. Um, yeah, this corner is a little messed up. Hey, in between my talking, you can listen to the sounds of Iron Maiden on piano. There's one. There's two. There it looks like um, minor tear on where the, uh, one of the box openings is. This side's really accordion. That's probably where, uh, Yag Face is hanging out. All right. I'm going to get this thing out of here. I don't know. But we're going to work on it right now. All right. I guess we'll just uh, stuff it out here. Yeah. Uh, well, something's given. Oh my god. Okay. Let's set the katana down for a second. And let's put the stuff back in the mailer. Plastic on the bottom too. Pack this back up. Okay, now let's just set this aside. All right. Wow, look at that. It looks very nice. Very nice. Can you see that? 
That box looks great. Great. Let me see. It does look really good. As you can see, there's some box damage on the bottom too, the accordion down in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. See that? That's kind of that too. And uh, let's see, let's take you off the tripod and see what happens here. All right. There we go. There's that stuff I was telling you about. Looks like it got dropped or something. That's a beautiful box. I mean, it really is. I mean, look at that. The colors are great. I think they are. Try to get out of the shadow. Is that as far as I can go zoomed out? Yeah. Sorry for all my junk under there. But that's a beautiful box. Beautiful box. On this side. Which side opens? That side opens. I'm gonna I don't want to turn it around anyway. All right, let me turn it around. Give me a second here. All right, back on. Okay. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Let's get to it. I've waited a year, so. excited, but I've waited a year, so I'm, I'm taking my precious time. The box is very tight, so if you see me screw anything up, you know it's what not to do. Get the sides off first, then kind of run my finger, well, no, can't do that finger groove here. Very tight. I don't want to break the tabs off. It's a pre-cut right there. Oh, there we go. So I move these up first, out of the way. So those tabs come up. This one with the tear in it, that comes up. Third one comes up. I already got the sides done. A little tougher. Now let's see. Is this open from the... Oh, there's one on the side here too. So get that puppy open. That's good. It looks like it opens from the... from one of the top sides. I mean from one of the side sides. Okay, let's see how this puppy opens. What else is open? One of these sides. Look at that. And there's Yak Face, and he looks, he's right by the accordion on the side of the box. You can see that. So that's, uh, there he is. That's how he's stuffed in there. See? See him right there? And, uh, let's see if he's got any damage there first. Shall we? Alright, so lift up this lid, which is stop and read before unpacking. Get my trusty little, I'll zoom back out here so I can see the big. Alright, so big stop in the name of love. 
trusty little case knife. My blue toothpick I've had for a while now. All right. Shall we read it before unpacking? Shall we? Shall we read this before unpacking? I don't know. We could try. This is HasLab. Let's read it, shall we? Let's tape somewhere away, it's safe, so it doesn't stick on anything. And you ripped part of the graphics off or something. Look at that ship. Jeez Louise. Alright, stop for packing. Oh, it's easy because it's one page. And that's okay, well never mind. Here's the rest. Read before I'm packing. Assembly required. No tools needed. So unpacking. Do not hold barge by the railings. The main portion of the ship is packed out as one piece. Additional pieces are stored in the accessory box beneath. To protect the barge, prepare a soft surface like a bed, a blanket on the floor, or a tauntaun carpet. <laughs> there you get them. Remove Jabba the Hutt figure and Yak Face figure card from foam and pieces and set aside. Remove center foam brace. Slide accessory box out from below the barge. Set aside. Tear plastic bag down the middle along perforation and slide plastic away from center. That's number four. Carefully hold bars from underneath while gently removing plastic and end of foam pieces one at a time. With the help of your barge buddy, do I have a barge buddy? I need a, I need to call my barge buddy. Carefully place the barge onto the soft surface you've prepared, which is probably the floor or the tauntaun carpet. Gently roll the barge away from you onto its side to begin assembly. Let's just get out of the package, shall we? I already forgot the instructions. Okay. Remove the Jabba the Hutt figure and the Egg Face figure from the end pieces and set aside. I see Jabba. I still want to see how old Salt, Salt is, Salt Marie is doing here. Let's see. He came out, looks like he came out unscathed. Looks like he came out pretty darn good. I've never had a figure graded before, but could this be the first? I don't know. And the coin is... Is it upside down? I don't think so. Huh. It's beautiful. The bubble's on tight. A little bit, well, a little bit right there. VC000. Vintage collection. That's pretty sweet. Great shape. He's got a little cup with him there too. Alright, I'm going to set him aside. The old yak is good. Yakety yak. Now, Jabba's over here. Open this side. There's Jabba. Does he look the same as the other figures that have already been released? Just a repack? Repaint? I don't know. His eyes look better, you know, his eyes look good. Let's see what his date is. Trademark, with still made in China. Does not have the year. Hasbro Europe, Stockton Park, Uxbridge, UK. I don't see a year. Copyright, copyright and trademark, Luke Film Limited, made in China, Hasbro. There's not a year on this little puppy. I doubt they would have it under his arms or anything because there's plenty of room under here. Let me open it up and I'll see if I can show you. Looks very good. He, mine came out already uh, posing. Okay, so. He's like, where's my bro? Where's Salacious at? Okay, what's going on here? Come on. Okay, we'll just leave him hanging. I don't want to force anything there. There we go. There's a little T-Rex T-Rex arm going, but there's the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it somewhat, but there's no year that I see. Hmm. Alright, we'll set him back inside and we'll give him a little, little pal to help out there. 
stand by for his little pal. Okay. Did I tell you I'm really Fong, fat old nerd guy? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Oh, look at this. I just got this off Facebook. Look at that. That's a hefty little number there. Look at that. Got it for a, got it for a bargain. Got it for a bargain. All right, now let's go back to the instructions, shall we? Instructions say, okay, remove the job of the hook. Yeah, figure check. Remove center foam brace, number two. This one comes up. Up like so. Okay, let's put the center foam brace over here. Wow, that looks good. Okay, four. Tear a plastic bag. I don't want to tear the plastic bag yet. It was perforated, but carefully hold bars underneath while gently removing plastic and end foam one at a time. All right, well, do I do what it says and tear the plastic bag or what? Shall we see why we shouldn't? Why? I'm going to try to do it without tearing the plastic bag and see what happens. But it says do not hold from rails, so carefully hold bars underneath while gently removing plastic and end foam pieces one at a time. Okay, there's number one. All right. Now, uh, let's take the other one. Do not hold by the rails. Go going off the rails of the Java barge. Okay. That one's over. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think that's ready to uh, take down. After that, carefully place the barge with your barge buddy onto the soft surface you provided. Gently roll the barge away from you onto its side to begin assembly. Got the soft area prepared, which is the dirty carpet. All right, dirty, chewy carpet. Wrap them underneath and place on soft spot. And then take the accessories out. I'll put those over here. I'm going to I'm going to now put the box back together so I can put it back in the other box. So just to reverse what you did. Here's the end of Java. Here's the end with old salt. Yak face. We got the middle part. Middle part. So I take it I am going to keep it out of the box because this thing's too cool. Alright, what's going on here? Okay, put the sides back on. Put you on the bottom. Yep. Come on the bottom. Come on the top. Do the other side. Look out accessories. Not accessories, but parts. Bottom. Top. Now let's fold this back in. I'm gonna put the bag back in there later, so. Alright. Side, top. Same way you unpacked it. Do the 
side again, bottom, bottom to top. Then, this is kind of wonky. This goes in first. That comes out, the big guy in first. And like so, little guy in second. Bottom was not in, sorry. But now it's in. Okay. The top there's no big guy, it's just a little guy. There. And then the last big guy. And first, it's getting a little tighter now. I hope that was my hair like that. Like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the lovely, lovely box on top of the mailer. Perfect. How's that? That soft enough? Okay. So let's get down here and lay him on the side. Don't grab by the rails. <laughs> Excuse me. What am I doing? Grabbing by a rail, aren't I? Oh, well, let's, uh, you know what? Let's do what they said in step one and actually pull the back part. It says it was perforated like my underwear. There we go. That looks wunderbar. That looks really, really nice, actually. Let's keep the little thingies on there and flip it over on its side. I'm worried about these things here. They seem a little fragile, but said carefully. Put it on the side. Okay. It's on the side. These little plastic things are tied. Let's go back to the instructions just to make sure we're doing this right. Okay. Soft surface. Gently roll the barge away from you on its side and begin assembly. Find sport feet, antenna, and engine details in the accessory box. Accessory box. Okay, let me show you the accessory box. It looks nice. That is the accessory box. I see fins, I see sails, I see mandibles. What are those little urinals? I don't know, something. Cannons. Okay, got it. So, attach support feet. Oh, those are the clear things. Those are the urinals. So, grab the little clear urinals out of here. These things. Clear little plastic things. And they go with the big side. Once they're in there, they're in there, so. Feet must be attached prior to attaching the fins. Okay, oh, there's a little, there we go. Looks like done. Unlike the, unlike the wings on the six inch black series TIE Fighter that once you snap the wings in place, they'll never come off again. These feel like they can come out again. They look like there's room for snapping in, but I'm not going to force anything. I mean, it looks like there's little tabs that when you push it up, it's going to click, click, but I'm not going to force anything right now. So they only go in one way. Looks like you may be able to turn them, but I'm not going to attempt that either. Sorry about that Star Destroyer flying overhead. Okay, so feet are on there. Okay, for additional support, keep one hand on the deck of the barge while attaching feet. Snap each, see, snap each keyed foot into place. No feet or removal for storage purposes. Well, they're in there pretty tight. I'm not going to get carried away. It says snap. Press bottom antenna into place as shown in one. So, one is 
to the very tip of the barge here. And the antenna looks like a little hook, a little hook thing, which I do not see. I see the guns. I see the sail assembly. The hook just likes like a little hook, like a little, like one of those old cell phone antennas on the back of Lemons. Or like the thing in Crocodile Nibby that he took out and threw. Same thing. Okay, I'm looking. Guns, two guns. Fins, deck. Two guns. I don't see an underneath antenna yet, but let's see what's underneath. Fin sides and antenna. There's a bunch of little antennas it shows. Okay. Not see the antenna. Now I'm looking in this part, and I see the you know the sails, the rigging, or whatever it is. So let me go back to this part. Okay, press bottom antenna into place as shown. There's also more antennas around. So let's take the fins out and see if there's anything under the fins. There's nothing, and I don't want to do this too hard. Okay, fins are in there pretty good. So I'm going to bend the bubble a little bit to make them come out easier. And there you go, nothing under the fins. Fins are out, nothing there. Aha, I see them. I didn't know they were tiny suckers. They're in this little bag of the mandibles and chains. So, it is in there. Put the fins back for now. Put the tape somewhere safe. Out of the way. Open the little baggie. Do I need my trusty case Bluetooth thick knife again? I think so, because it is wonderful. And I think this one's from the 70s. It's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe from the 80s. I don't know. I stabbed myself in the butt with it quite a few times. Antennae. And antennae is wrapped in the chain. That's what it is. So the antenna looks like those little guys. Just a little, little piece. So that goes in the front. And it shows the mandibles, I mean the thing facing backwards. This does not look like it can come back out, so I will be careful. It's a small piece. Go in there one way. Let's see. That's very crooked. Very crooked. There's pliable, it feels like. There's a little hook in the top. You'll see it when you get it. It only go in one way. But it's not a uh, star destroyer again. Nope. Ah, I see. There's two feet in there. They actually go both. Okay, that works. It's just a little rubbery thing and it fits fine. There's no problem after all. A little soft rubber, spread apart, two holes, two pins, all good. Now that was the straight shaft antenna, which shows in there. The crooked that doesn't tell you until later, so use the straight shaft antenna to go in there. Hope you did that already. Because the crooked shafted antenna is for the other side. I'm gonna set that aside and put this stuff back in my little baggie. Am I recording? I hope so. I ain't doing this again. All right. Put my little stuff aside. Put this antenna aside. Now, has not told me to unwrap the plastic yet, but I think I should. Fin, find fins inside antenna in the accessory box. Snap keyed port side and starboard antenna into place as shown. So there's a little antenna port side and starboard, but I don't see anything for starboard. 
Slide four side starboard fins behind side mounts and snap pins into place. Okay. I guess we uh, should put it back on the stand. Press engine details into place as shown. Engine details? How did you do that? Press bottom and in place, got that. Press engine details into place as shown, number two. Engine details must be those things right here. See? There's little holes in the back. So, what the hell are the engine details? Back in my little bag of tricks here, we have a chain. A chain with the chain. The very Actually, the chain is very nice looking. It's not a little plastic chain. It's actually a metal chain. It's actually a metal chain. They're very nice. Put that back in here for a second. Damn, that, what happened to Maiden? i got to play something else. How many engine details are there? Three. There's only three. Those go in the last holes. I see one, two, three. So, just put them in the holes where there's no screw. It looks like they're square pegs. Yep. Okay, well, they don't really... They're kind of loose in there, it feels like. There's one. No, it's... We're on one side, square on the other. That one went much firmer. The first one was loose. My third one, where'd it go? Right here. Around one side. Around on one side. Okay. Engine details. Hey, there's my serial number. What is it? It's my serial number. Hmm. Can't see it. Shine so bright. It's shining on me. Uh, I need to get some stronger glasses. Stand by. Okay, don't make fun of my uh, got little, little girly glasses there, little flowers. Serial number is 83561. Awesomeness. Got a serial number on it. Okay, let's keep going. So I can take the flowered glasses off and keep going. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my trusty blue case knife again. Toothpick. Look at that little guy. Hey, little guy. Hey, little sharp guy. How are you? You're all crudded up. I gotta clean you. Look at that. Looks like a horror movie thing. Yeah. Shing. Or Wolverine's claws. Shing, shing, shing. Have the Hulk's face on him like that. No. Okay. Let's get rid of these, uh, these things. Hope I'm doing the right thing. So I'll get rid of them now. I use this toothpick at least six times a day. No, I'm not getting endorsed by Case Knives or anything. I'm just letting you know. Really, I'm not. I'm just messing around. I like this little knife. All right, well, the next picture shows it back on its legs, or on its legs. So, put it on its legs. There she goes. Get rid of these little things. There's some moving parts on top, I see. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. How do you open that shit? Oh. Oh, great. Did I break it? No, thank God. Woohoo! <laughs> that scared the <laughs> shit out of me. Okay, so, these things apparently come straight out. There, snaps back in. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this alone and snap these in. Okay. God, my sphincter just tightened up. Jeez. You stay there. Where'd you, where's that at? All right. 
Let's go back to the proper instructions here. Okay, find fins and side antenna in the accessory box. Snap keyed port side and starboard antenna. Oh, my antenna. I got two, and they're crooked ones. So, they go in the front. And they face backwards as well. Stand by. Is that the hole right there? <laughs> she said, okay. I can't see in there. Looks like the hole. And a flashlight. Stand by. Flashlight. Let's see here. We're going to snap snap the antennas in to front. Let's see here. Well, there's not much. Uh... Okay, it only goes one way. There is a little notch. I guess that's it. Notch on both sides. Where's that notch at? That notch is in the top. Doesn't seem like it, but it is. That's a little pain in the ass right there. Only one notch. Come on. Let's get in there, dude. Alright, well, he's a pain in the butt. So, oh, that was my back. Did you hear that? That was great. That's why I'm called Fat Old Nerd Guy because I'm fat and old. Let's see here. Nope, it is on the side. There's a side notch. Side notch. Going? Not really. These little things are pain in the asses. Come on, really? It's right there. Push and nothing. Well, it's in there for now. Okay. What are we going to do next? Side fins. Side fins, too. Slide poor side and starboard fins behind side mounts to snap pins into place, making sure that pin markers are facing inwards toward the ship. Making sure pin markers... Pin markers? Where's pin markers? Slide port side star fins behind side mounts and snap pins into place, making sure that pin marks are facing inwards toward the ship. Uh oh. They both have fin marks. Unreal. I see those round things. There's some round things there. So you see the round marks. So they don't want that on the outside. They want that on the inside. I'll put the bottom one in first. And then I'll put the top in. There, snaps. Okay, see the other side. Pin marks in. You know what? Better if I did this. Standing up. You know the uh, I just sent my good friend Jerry from Papa Roach a picture of this and his exact words were what the hell is that? He is a big Star Wars fan as well. But he doesn't he doesn't deal with all these toys. His toys are like Porsches and Vipers and things like that, cars. 
this is about my portion of my viper because this is what I can afford. I'd like to thank my good friend, Mike Lowe, for getting me, helping me get this because Mike Lowe passed away recently. And uh, he had some cancer issues and he didn't make it. He was cleared the first time and when he came back, came back hard and we lost him. And he was a good friend of ours. And uh, he bought all my baseball cards to give to his son to look through because it was about 500,000 cards or more. And he PayPal'd me the money for my cards and I got this with it. So I basically traded him. I said, I'll trade him all my cards for this. And it's going to be a special piece in my collection that means a lot to me. All right, let's keep going. Oh my God, there's more, there's more pages. Well, there's a play page, okay. Cannons, look at the three cannons. Two rail, one main deck. I take it, this big hoss is the main deck. Okay, main deck. Main deck, big boy. Okay, for main deck, cannon, attach cannon on main deck with one time snap. Cannon, cannon is intended to swivel and elevate. One, so, one is right here on the, okay, where's, where's, yeah, right here. Wait, where's the piece? There it is, I see it. It's right on top, can't miss it. Well, or you can miss it. Let me break something. Oh, good, there she is, okay. Next can. Plastic baggie with tape. So, get rid of that tape. If you want to, I mean, you don't have to. And I'm gonna fetch my old trusty case blue toothpick. Are these the same? Let's see what they look like. These two are the same. So good to go. You got one on the back porch, which I call the deck. Where's he go? Where's the back porch snap in? Collectors note, for those collectors who own the Star wait, here we go. For those collectors who own the Star Wars the Black Series Vizam figure and canon, there are four C clip ports to connect the Vizam Vizam's canon. Figure canon not included, not available for sale. Well, I guess the price on him just went up. For rail cannons, attach cannons on any of the six ports of the deck. Okay. So you can attach these anywhere. Well, it says for rail cannons, attach anywhere. Oh, okay, there we go. Two goes around these little things here. Watch that, oh, look at that rail. It's kind of coming apart up there. See that? That rail kind of came apart. There it goes. Uh oh, look at that, my can just broke. You know what, it was just broken, broken. Look at that. And that piece is still stuck in there. And it was, I mean, it was barely in my hand. The snap you heard was me putting the railing back together. But that just broke. Good time, let me put the other one up front here. So that one snapped right in, all good. This one is definitely gonna need some super glue. Here's the gun. You see this? Is it not focusing? There's the gun. This. Is the piece that snapped into the rail. But it just came right very very easily apart like it was already stressed or cracked. So, there we go. And mainly because my bottom rail here was sticking up higher, and when I snapped that back in too, it just somehow shifted it. I don't know. 
That sucks. This will be a glue job. That'll be a glue job. I'm still uh, I'm still wondering how I'm going to get all oh, the Zams cannons, clip-on cannons. I don't even know about those. I'm surprised I don't have one, but I don't think I do. Let me put this back in here for gluing. Great. That's just great. Now it's worth four hundred and eighty dollars. Okay. Next, cannons are done. Sales. Some of the Katana's legendary sales. They, they had to say legendary sales. Gather all pieces necessary for sale, for sale assembly from the accessory box. Roll out sale. Okay, attach small braces to main horizontal beams as shown. Oh, this looks complicated. Here's a sale. Got a sale. Okay. There we go. That's a sale. I'll set that down here in the ground. Gather all pieces for sale assembly from the accessory box. Okay. Let's grab one at a time, shall we? Okay. There we go. Large piece. Okay, so I don't know where this was. Um, okay, so that piece did snap into that piece pretty nicely. It looks really good. And I don't know where the battery ran out at, but I'll go back and try it again. Give me a second for the next one. So that looks really good. Um, let's do both of them. So that one's done. Let's get the other one. Here's the other sale again. Start over. There's a sale with a little, little fish bones in it. Okay. Get that out. So we're going to get the big piece. Get the big piece out with the little speaker on it, you know. Get the two, uh, the two little bow caster part looking things. You got to be careful with because they are... They are really in this packaging. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. So we got those. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other wishbone parts out, even though I didn't use them yet. So the wishbone parts over here, and that's it from the top part, except for the mandibles and stuff. We got this part, and. Let's get the next of the this part. So we put the little skis in there. I mean the bowcaster parts. Have them going up. That's the only way you can do them. So turn upside down or right side up, whatever it may be. Snap these little guys in here. You can only do them in one area. Snap this guy in here. There we go. Now this piece here actually goes, yes, up and down. And it should snap in very nicely. You can see underneath where they're supposed to go. A little bit off the center. Okay. White. Maybe it should be this way. Yes, so if they don't line up, flip it around. Then it lines up poifically. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Let's try it again. Yes. If it doesn't line up, flip it around. That is a key. That's pretty interesting how they do that. You know? Okay. 
You should hear the infamous little snaps. Or you don't. Yeah, there you go. I didn't break it like my gun, but hey. All right, and you've got that looking thing. Now, that's together. Now, let's see, uh, secure snap, yep, we did that. Insert ends of horizontal beam into sail pockets. Hmm, three. Ends of horizontal beams into sail pockets. Ends of the horizontal beams into the end pockets, which I see the end pockets. It's not pointed like that. Ah, I see what they mean. End pockets. One there. Top. That's going to be tight. Make sure you get them on in there. Okay, spread it out a little bit. And, I don't know what just happened. That part came out. The little bowcaster part came out. Put that back in there. Give a little extra push. Well, that's one end pocket. And it's going to be tight. I would say, sorry, I would say get the sail out of the way or it's going to be a problem. I'll roll it carefully. Looks like it's going to be fun. I'm being sarcastic. Okay, that's unrolled. Now the only thing is, I've got to get this up in here. That's going to be tight. Oh, yes. There we go. It's in. Okay, now. Slide sail tabs into the V-shaped structure part. Wait a minute. Okay, I see. And it's backwards. So it does make, they don't tell you that. They don't tell you that. That's great. So there's a difference. See the sail? The short end's got to, yeah, that's totally wrong. So unfortunately, make sure they line up before you do it. So take your sail and flip it over. Like so. so. Let's start it over. Put this in the bottom. There goes that chewy thing again, which means the little bowcaster looking part. Alright. That goes in there. Bowcaster part. Let's get you back up here. Okay, there we go. Roll the sail out again. Roll the sail. The sail. Sail St. Marie. Roll that out. Okay. Try it again. And one, two, stretch. Oh. Holy crap. I'm surprised I didn't break. Okay. Now it fits. So, tab one here. Tab two, come on. Tab two. This one's kind of tight. And okay, let me do that again. Okay, that's in. Looking good. Looking good, Hoss. It's looking good. The music is perfect. Get in here. Some okay. Man, it looks awesome. Look at that. That looks really, really cool. Little, uh, little wrinkly there, but hey, it's a sail barge. Look at that. It's fine with me. 
I'm not complaining. Yeah, I'm not complaining. It's fine. Now, get that on there. Now the little V thing. Slides, uh, seal tabs. Okay. Insert round end of anchor in the V-shaped structure piece. Round hole five. Insert square end of anchor piece into hole six. I don't know what they mean by that. Let's get one. Okay, insert round end of anchor. V shaped structure piece round hole five. Oh, I see. No, that's kind of too. Uh, okay. But, okay, see this little point here? There's. The wishbone has got the, the top of the, the bottom of the V has an angled going in. Or an angle going to the side, you don't know what side's in yet. But you want to put it on the sail going in. So this isn't the right one because it has a bigger. This one's going in. That one's kind of weird too. Let's make sure they're all the same here. That one fits. So, insert in the little holes. There's one, there's two. Yeah, that's in like that. Okay. Let's just try that one for now. There we go, with the thing pointing in. Next page. Once sails are assembled, oh, I guess we gotta do it again for this side. Sails go in. Looks right. Yep, you'll see one hole smaller than the other. That way it tells you that those tabs, the poles have to face inward. It's one. God, so scary. Some of how hard these things are. I just feel like I'm gonna break them any second. Okay. That one's in. One sail is assembled, insert upright supports to the deck mounts. One. There's a deck mount up here. So this has to go. Which way? Like that. Let's move the gun a little bit. That's pretty cool. Fits right in there. And those, the V's. Whoa, get attached to the outside right there. Can't mess that up. So we just do that with the other sail. Sail number two. Let's make sure and line it up so that we don't do the same mistake as the last one. So there's the little bow caster parts are in there. These are nope. So we want to flip it around. And go like that. Yes. So there's one in there. Make sure it's sunk in there pretty good. Yeah. All right. Here's the second second one. Let's hope I don't break this one. Man, these sails are tight. Okay, this one was better. Now. Okay. Slide these in the tabs. That's one. That's two. These are acting much better. I don't want to speak too soon because I always jinx myself. This one's a little harder. Uh, I know you got to stretch them to make them look good. But come on, people. All right, let's try this one first. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. How much can I stretch this thing? Alright, let's try the long one again. Let's switch sides again. Oh yeah, that one that one worked this time. Shorty the shorty's pretty far off. 
Oh, and because it's not all the way in over here, that could be. All right. Well, Shorty looks in. This one's going to be a biatch. God, I feel like I'm about to tear it. Son of a gun. For real? For real, I feel like I'm about to tear it. I won't go up there. Maybe these aren't in all the way. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'll just push that one a little more now. Not much, though. Doesn't look like it. Maybe I'll just leave that one hanging. Alright, try it again. Almost. The music was almost perfect. It's going. Yeah, that's it. That was tough. Really felt like I was going to break that one. Now, which way does the barge go here? Where's my loudspeakers? Loudspeakers are facing out this way. Here's a hatch. I'm gonna, here's a couple of hatches. I'm going to close those up. All right. Closing the hatches. Put this little booger in here. And I think that's about it. Usually kind of worked, didn't it? Can't hear, but it's Raiders. Crap. Nope. Didn't put these in. Let me see if I can take it back out. Yes. Pretty easily. supposed to go okay can only go one way there's one there's two That worked. Then in the little side holes. And there we have it. Okay, sales note sales can be attached to attach your leisure. It is recommended that you remove sails for open deck play. Exterior play. The next is all exterior play. Talk about your sliding jail door. The cockpit holds two figures. The shackles that are included. Trap doors. Pop off panels. Carefully lift panels from the bottom to remove. Remove front panel to reveal cockpit. Remove three side panels and back panel to reveal interior. Note when snapping panels back into place, it is best to start with the panels at the back of the ship and move forward towards the front. Deck hatches, slide door lift open. The break and railing, R2, where are we going? Railing pieces are removable to recreate R2D2's leak from the deck of the katana. So it's probably right around here somewhere. Or it's on the back. Let's see. Break and railing number seven. Yeah, it's right here. There we go. So that piece can't come out. There's a little latch there. But that was also the part in the back that was broke. I mean, not broke, but caused the gun to break. Sliding jail door, smuggler's hatch, armory, and Java's day. Dias, whatever. Slide Java's dais back and forth to scan for shady denizens. That's all she wrote. Now, I'm going to go figure out where to put her. 
And I guess I'll, I'll show you a little bit. I'll be back. See ya.